Hey everyone, in this course, you will learn how to create a third person parkour system in Unity while learning lots of important gameplay programming concepts. So, we'll create an advanced third person character like this that can traverse dynamic environments with parkour. It's a really common feature in modern day games like Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, etc. But the mechanic itself has been there in lots of older games like Zelda Ocarina of Time. So it's a perfect project for learning Go game programming skills. So let's look at what we're going to build in this course. We'll start by making a basic third person controller. We'll not use any assets for building it. We'll build it from scratch because it's a good way to learn the fundamentals of gameplay programming. And then we'll implement the parkour system on top of the third person controller. So we'll create an environment scanner that can scan obstacles in front of the player. And we'll make the player perform different parkour actions dynamically based on the height and type of the obstacle. We'll also look at advanced animation techniques like target matching, which will allow us to adapt the same animation on obstacles of different height. We'll architect the parkour actions using scriptable objects in Geometry to make them designer friendly so that designers can easily create and modify parkour actions without touching the code. So by the end of this course, you'll not just create this parkour system, but you'll learn lots of essential game development skills and techniques that you can use throughout your career. So right now, we're giving an early bird discount for the course. So the first 500 people to use the link in the description will get the course for a discounted price of $13. So I hope you'll join me in this course.